Welcome to day 125. Today's topic is about love or hate. We get to make choices. I got a phone call yesterday and the person started off pretty nice and friendly. How, how are you? News, weather, and sports. And then they got to an issue. When they got to the issue, there was a lot of blame coming towards me about their situation. At that time, I went from a happy, friendly state to a very angry state. And I was mad. And I was actually on the verge of hate instead of love. Now, when I was in a happy state and I went from a hate state, something changed in the way I was perceiving the day. Now, if you're in a good state, and all of a sudden something happens like a phone call like I got and you go into this angry state, this bad state, the first thing to do is to realize I'm in a bad state. I don't want to be in a bad state. I want to be in a good state. I want to be in a state of love, not a state of hate. So the first thing I need to do is realize that while I'm talking to the person and the whole button is really nice in your phone. When you become, when I become angry, I need to remember automatically to hit the, say, one moment please, and to put them on hold and realize, hey, I'm in a negative state. I don't want to be in this hate state. I want to be in a love state. So the first thing I need to do is make sure that I am breathing. Once I get some good air going, I start to think. And the next thing I do is maybe get up and move walk. Now they're on hold, I understand that. I'm not going to be gone very long, but then as I'm moving, I need to ask myself this question. Is this a time when I need to be in hate, or is this a time I want to be in love? When Jesus was on the cross, and He had been suffering all day long, and they had nails in His hands, and He was dying, He said to God in heaven, He said, Forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing. I believe that, <clears throat> for the most part, all of us are doing the best we can do with what we have. Hurt people hurt people. This person that called me up on the phone that was blaming me for their situation was hurt. And they were looking for relief. They didn't want to suffer anymore. I didn't take it that way when I got the call. I took it as though they were out to hurt me. They weren't really trying to hurt me. They were just trying to blame me so that they wouldn't have the pain. So making the decision, do I want to love or do I want to hate? Do I want to live the philosophy of the more I give, the more I live? Now the video before was talking about the win-win, the win-lose kind of people that are out there. So there are people out there, they want to win and they want me to lose. But for the most part, 99% of all the people I come in contact with are win-win people or even some that are lose-win, that they want me to win if, even if they lose. So I need to focus on the win-win and I need to be sure that when I get hooked or when I, my state goes from positive and happy to really negative and to hate that I analyze is this really where I want to be and that was not where I wanted to be yesterday I wanted to be happy and I because whatever mood I'm in it affects everybody around us so when we have the attitude of the more we give, the more we live, people around us enjoy being around us a lot more and I enjoy being around people a lot. So once I made the decision that I wanted to be in, in, the, in, the, in the state of love, then I started praying for it. I asked God to help me so that I could love instead of hate. Now one of the things that I did, and it probably wasn't the best thing, but in this situation, I just hung up on the person. As they were starting to rant and rave, and I'd share with them, this is their problem, they need to deal with it, I just went ahead and hung the phone up. Now, they haven't called back, and I'm glad they haven't, but I, I think, should I call them and make an apology? This isn't a person that's normally in my life, and so I'm kind of trying to decide whether or not to call them back. So let me know what your comments are. Should I call these people back, or should I call this person back and apologize for my behavior, or should I just make a, a YouTube video and talk about it and, and try to be really transparent about what I'm doing? 
I believe that we fail our way to success. We make, I make a lot of mistakes, and when I make a mistake, I try to learn from that so that I don't repeat the same mistake again. Um, I've been fired from a couple of jobs and it really sucked, and I don't want to get fired from the job I got today. And so I'm trying to continually to improve myself mentally, physically, and spiritually. It's not a quick fix. Life's a journey. It's not a microwave. It's not an instant fix. There's no five steps to instant success. We have to take action. And if we want to be successful, the way to be successful is, number one, have great habits, and number two, understand the law of compounding and put it into action. Thank you very much for watching, and please share this video with other people. Have a great day.